Hmm. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hi, I'm your guy, Very High. This is another video for GTA 5. Uh, we're going to be riding a bus today. Hey, what is going on, folks? It's your guy, Very High. This video for GTA 5, this is part one of a three part series. We are going to be exploring how to become a bus driver. Stay tuned, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out, keeps your boy motivated, and it can only help you continue modding Grand Theft Auto 5. So here we are at the bus stop or at the bus depot. Let's go ahead and take a look at our map real quick. This is where the bus depot is on the map. All you want to do is come over to this blue marker. I'm going to use my controller. You can also use keyboard. And we're going to have the ability to choose what route we want to take. Now, me personally, I did some research. I'm going to take uh, Route 45 and uh, we can also choose delivery. I really like this livery right here. And if we take a look at the difficulty, of course, the normal shows everything. Hard is two times the fares and no markers for bus stops. And then professional is four times fares, no markers and no route line. And then TMT is unbeatable. Eight times the fare, no markers, no route lines and no blips. We're just going to stick with normal for this video. And we are going to go ahead and start that mission. Station bus terminal. Next station, awesome. And of course, we can adjust whether or not the text to speech will tell us the stops based on the I and I settings that we set. But that's not till the end of the video, guys. Let's enjoy this. Let's take a look at the map. And we have our route planned out for us. So this is going to take us all the way down to the airport and right back up. It should be a pretty simple one. I'm just going to back out here. And we are going to start this thing off. If you notice in your bottom right hand screen, you'll have the amount of stations that you need to attend, how many you have completed, how many are left. You also have your speed and miles per hour. I'm also playing with pull me over and better chases. So police activity will be monitoring our speed and our overall just driving in traffic. You also have money earned. So I believe what happens is you split the money and half of it is yours, half of it goes to the bus station. So here we are, we have our first fare of the day. Six dollars. <throat> okay, so it appears it is two dollars to ride the bus. It's cool how people put so much effort into uh, making this uh, a legitimate route bus system. It's pretty interesting. I wonder if they followed a bus around for a day. Oh! Bear with me, folks. We're going to take a slight detour down the street here, okay? No need to fear. I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, here's the little surprise. We are cruising down the street in Ballas territory for only one reason. Appear protection. Let's go ahead and hire these cats. Hired the Ballas. All right, weapons. Check. Yo, okay, everybody glizzied up. All right, fellas, we'll hop on the bus. I hope there's room. Ridiculous. All right, everybody hop on, bro. Oh, it's one at a time, one at a time. Single file. We got a lot of seats on this bus. Double up, y'all. Double up. Mm-hmm. Get it when you fit in. Damn, these fools disappearing to the back or what? He sits down. Where does he go? Okay. Yeah, hop on this bus, man. It's time to go. Okay, we've got all the guys we got the, the whole gang loaded up on the bus let's go ahead and finish our route we're gonna take this route is gonna take us through some enemy territory possibly too so it'll be interesting to see what happens where all my people's at all right everybody's still here oh he got off and got back on <laughs> he gave up his seat what a gentleman damn what's going on Oh, they blasted at somebody. Alright, we got some low fuel, so it's probably good. Uh, perfect timing, actually. We're gonna fuel up here. Alright, let's start trapping. How about that? Oh, 
Uh oh. It's about to go down. <laughs> Where are my dudes at? Where, my... Where the crew at? Oh, bro, they're all stuck on the bus. Alright, let's try this again. Oh yeah, this uh bus station terminal right here should be a good spot. What? Bro, <laughs> I left everything in the car. Bucks. All right, so far only one bala. Oh shit! One, we can only see one bala. But there's supposed to be like a whole gang here. Oh, damn. That is cool. Well, guys, unfortunately, we didn't get to see our crew do any damage. I mean, they weren't even designed for this uh, to be riding the bus. <laughs> uh, but it was a cool little experiment. We'll definitely do some more experimenting with LS Life, LS Cruise, and many other mods to come. Guys and girls and boys and men's and women's and puppy dogs and children. Until the next time, I'm your guy, V3RY, H1GH, and this has been another video for GTA 5. If you want to know how to subscribe, go ahead and do that. <laughs> if you want to know how to install the mods for this video, a tutorial is coming up right now. Hello, and welcome to the Bus Simulator V1.2 mod installation tutorial by I'm Not Mental, Yoha, Pacific Northwest Parks fan. Okay, over on GTA5Mods.com, don't forget to like, follow, and bookmark your favorite mods. For this particular mod, we are going to need several things. You're going to make sure you need ScriptHookV, the latest version of community ScriptHookV.net, and Open4. Muted Speech is optional. We will not be downloading that. And if you don't know how to install V uh, ScriptHookV, V.net, and Open4, check out my GTA5 Modding Essentials video to get you caught up to speed with everything you need to modify GTA V. Okay, we've got our file downloaded. Let's take a look at that readme document and first and foremost we're more than likely going to need to launch open for we're also going to right click on our start menu here i'm going to click on file explorer once this populates on our screen we're going to locate our c drive and from our c drive we're also going to locate our program files okay from there we're going to look for epic games inside of epic games we're going to click on gta v okay that's that folder that's that place you need to be now let's go ahead and open up that readme Okay, it says features, special features, requirements, installation. It says drag and drop mods and scripts folder into your Grand Theft Auto directory. So let's go ahead and do that. We are now going to uh, click on this install folder. <clears throat> okay, we're going to open up this mods folder here. Okay, we're going to click on update. Okay, x64. Okay, DLC packs. Okay, and here we have this bus sim folder inside of that folder we just opened for gta 5 uh we're going to locate our mods folder click on update x64 dlc packs we're going to just drag and drop that bus right inside there and we're going to go back to the scripts folder in our bus directory here click on scripts and we need to drag and drop these files into our gta 5 main directory all right i'm going to locate my scripts directory go back to the gta 5 folder Click on scripts, and we're just gonna select everything up in hither and drag it straight on over. Now I may have some of these files installed already, but for the sake of science, I don't mind replacing them. All right, now that we have that done, we're gonna need to move on to open four. So let's close out that archive <clears throat> that we no longer need. If we go into the readme, it's gonna tell us that we need to paste this item line into our dlc pack so let's go ahead highlight and copy that next we are going to run on down to open four and we are going to click on our mods folder update update that rpf common data 
we're going to activate edit mode like so. We're going to scroll on down to our DLC list.xml, give it a right click, click edit. We're going to go on down to the very last line here of the item, item lines. <clears throat> we're going to hit enter and control V. We're going to paste it right in. Save that bad boy. So we're going to use FY7O's game config. <clears throat> I've already got it downloaded. So here I have um, FY, uh, man, I got this game config. All right, links out in the description. We're going to click on GTA config. And we're going to choose this option right here. Uh, 0 0.5 traffic. Open that folder on up. Then I'm going to locate open four once again. All we are going to do is I'm going to extract the game config to my desktop. Okay. Just like so. And I'm going to drag and drop that into, the, by the way, my game config is right here. I'm just going to drag and drop it straight into open four like so. And there you go. If we want to, we can hop back into that scripts directory. We can take a look at the bus sim folder here. Um, <clears throat> because inside of it, we're going to have a couple of options that we can take a look at. All right, we have a configuration file right here. And it's going to give you the lowdown on all the little options you can add. So we have a speedometer. We have debug mode. We have automatic doors, automatic blinkers, brake lights, text to speech. I'm going to make that true. So whenever we're approaching a stop, it's going to tell us, hey, approaching next stop. It's going to say what it's got to say. Go ahead and feel free to explore the rest of these options. We can control the front, left, right doors, all that good stuff. Rear doors, front doors, middle doors, all those doors. Okay, I'm your dude very high. I hope this was informative for you. And please stick around because the next video, we will be installing the Los Santos bus service where we can ride the bus as a client. Until next time, guys, I'm your guy, V3R to the Wiz IE. I'll catch you in the next video for GTAV. Peace.